Alrighty, what is up everybody? We are doing a much requested video today, the trading view setup. Now, a lot of you want to know how you can get your trading view at home to look like mine that you see uh, in each video, and we're going to do that today. So at first, I'm going to remove all drawings, remove all indicators, and we're going to go, bam. When you come into trading view, and let's just go to Bitcoin, right? Uh, let's remove all drawings again. When you come into trading view, it's going to look like this. Now, the first thing we're going to do just to help our eyes is we're going to find a space in the back. That means you can't be hovered over any candles. Okay, open space. You're going to right click, go down to color theme and change it to dark. Okay, now this is very, very easy to look at. Contrary to that terrible white background, right? This is this is much, much better. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we need our indicators. The three indicators we use, the stochastic, our MACD, and our RSI. So we're going to come up here to this bar, and there's a lot of things we're not going to go over, things that are self-explanatory, uh, like financials. You can hover over that and see, well, it just gives you a rundown of the fundamentals, right? So we're going to go to indicators on the top here. We're going to click that. And the first thing we're going to add is our stochastic RSI. So we're just going to type in stoke. Okay, stochastic RSI, we're going to add that. The next thing we're going to add is the MACD or MACD, and that's your moving average convergence divergence. We're going to add that, and all you have to do is click it. You can also star it if you want to favorite it, which I haven't done yet, but I probably should. And the next thing we're going to do is our relative strength index, also known as our Wilder's index. Um, and I believe, yeah, some some things like trading view, uh, or not trading view, some things other than trading view, like think or swim platform, will just have uh, have the indicator as RSI. Um, but on trading view, you have to type out the whole thing. So there we go. Easy as that, guys. We now have our stochastic, our MACD, our RSI, and our price action up top. Now, if you're wanting to make any of these bigger or smaller, just go to the dividing line between them, and you can drag them down or up, depending on what you want to do to make the previous... Um, the previous momentum indicator bigger or smaller or the price action bigger or smaller. Now, right now we're looking at the one day chart, which means each one of these candlesticks represents one day of movement, one day of the bulls pushing it up, bears dragging it down. If we wanted to change this time frame, all we would have to do is click on this and choose the time frame that we want. Now, when we choose a new time frame, all of our indicators will automatically swap to that time frame alongside the price action. Now, as you see here, we have the candlesticks, but you can do other patterns, right? Such as bars or lines. And right next to the time frame, to the right of it, we're gonna jump one spot to where it says hollow candles. And you can see here, all this is, is it's going to give you the same price action depicted differently. So we can go to bars, we can go to candles, we can go to hollow candles, uh, we can go to the Heiken Ashi, lines, area, baseline, so on and so forth, right? It's going to give you the same price action, just depicted differently. Okay, so you can do lines like RSI or whatnot. Okay, now to the left of that, okay, to the left of the time frame, we have the symbol search. So you click this, this is where you can get any of your symbols. So if you wanted to look at Algorand, you know, you type it in there and you make sure you have the crypto bubble selected. Now, if you're wanting to look at a stock like say Tesla, of course, Tesla is a stock right so Tesla incorporated now there is the Tesla crypto but Tesla USD is a cryptocurrency you're gonna make sure that you're in the stock same with Forex if you want to look at say uh, yen to USD you know you're gonna have to be in the Forex market so on and so forth now if you are wanting to grab a symbol and add it to a watch list as you can see on the right side of the list here or on the right side of your screen, you're gonna see on the very top it says watch list and to the right of that there is a plus symbol or a T symbol. You can simply click that and it's gonna bring up almost the same menu as you had on the other one. The difference here is on the right of these symbols there will be an add to watch list button. Okay, inversely to that, if you wanna remove something from your watch list, you can right click it, um, or I'm sorry, 
not right click it but to the right of it there is the X symbol and that will simply remove it so we just removed doge if we want to re-add it we can type in doge make sure we go to crypto and we trade tether so doge tether now anytime you add something new it'll be on the very bottom of your watch list and then you can then click hold and drag it to anywhere you want now these flag symbols if you hover over your ticker to the left of it you'll see these flags which you can use to mark anything um, you know particular that you want for me red is something that I have a long position in blue is a large uh, portfolio percentage day trade or swing trade yellow are things that I have alerts on or I'm watching for a certain price point and green is something that I am long and not looking for a swing trade or day trade Okay. Now on the far right, there's many things over here, but the one thing we are going to cover is the alert section, this little bell right here. This will um, hold any alerts that you have. But how do you set an alert? So if we are hovered over the actual chart here, you can see on the far right side next to the price, there is a plus symbol inside of a circle. No matter where you want, you can hit the plus symbol inside of the circle and you can add an alert. You can also choose to create a new order if you are actually doing your trading through TradingView. You can choose to buy, sell, create limit order, stop loss, so on and so forth. Now personally, I trade all of my cryptocurrency through Coinbase and Hotbit and Kraken. Um, and I trade all of my stocks, uh, futures, and options through TD Ameritrade. Okay, so you can set an alert through this. You can find your alerts here and clicking any of these will take you exactly to that chart. Alrighty, so the next thing we're going to do is actual trend lines. How do I put a trend line on this chart? So we're going to go to the far left side here and you can see this uh, diagonal line. If you hover over it, it'll say trend line and there's many different lines you can choose from. If you click the drop down or drop to the side menu right next to it, you'll see you have all of these different trend lines to choose from horizontal lines angled VWAP lines, trend angle lines, rays, arrows, cross lines, verticals, parallel channels, disjointed channels, all of this, right? So to use it, you simply click it, click point A where you want the trend line to start and drag it to point B where you want the trend line to end. Okay, that's kind of a terrible trend line, but you get the point. And then we can go and we can grab another one, you know, and we can just keep trend lining now this is also going to work on any of your momentum indicators right anything you can chart you can draw on now this is a good opportunity to say if you want to remove any of these lines that you just made you can right click the line itself for all of the options on that line you can add alerts to trend lines you can change the order of the trend lines you can copy or clone your trend lines lock your trend lines individually hide your trend lines or simply remove them so that is one way to remove it now if you just did something that you need to take back all you would do is at the top bar here you can undo the re most recent thing that you did okay and then of course you can redo it so undo redo okay so another way to do this is if you right click the back here, you can choose to remove all drawings or remove all indicators at once. On that same topic, on the far left bar here, second from the bottom, you can choose to hide all and then unhide all. So you can choose to show or hide all of your drawings at once. Right above that, you can choose to lock all of them. Okay, so hide, show and lock. Okay, so right below the trend lines, we have Fibonacci tools. Now, these are going to be, um, I believe, for the paid accounts. Things like the Fibonacci retracement um, are going to be for the paid accounts. Now, I don't have any affiliate link. I don't get anything for you signing up to TradingView. But you do not need these Fibonacci tools to get a grasp on your charting or practicing your charting. Um, TradingView is a wonderful tool that lets people practice basic technical analysis on a live market platform uh, without paying anything, without having to start any trial. Um, I really, really like it. 
Okay, now below the Fibonacci tools, you'll have the paintbrush tool, the brush stroke tool, and this will let you essentially just draw whatever you want, right? So sometimes you'll see me draw, say on the stochastic down here, we have room to move down, we're um, about to cross on the MACD, and we're just getting into midfield on RSI, right? So I'm using the drawing tool to do all of that. And of course, I can click the undo button about four times here, five times, and it will take all of that back. Okay, the next thing below that, and one of the final things we're actually going to cover is text. A lot of the times on the charts, whether you're watching a video playback or you're watching a live video, you will see buy and sell targets. You'll see buy targets and sell targets. Now to do this, all we have to do is click the text button and click wherever we want, and it will have us insert text here. Okay. And it's as easy as that. Now, once we've done it, we can also change the font size. We can change the color. We can bold or italicize it. And we can adjust the visibility. Right? Alrighty, guys. And that is basic basic trading view tutorial if there is anything else that you guys would like to know or anything i didn't cover which one of the main things actually is how i drag my screen up and this this will be the last thing we cover um, is these two buttons down here say you want to drag your screen up all you have to do is click this auto button on the bottom right and that will toggle your ability to drag your chart wherever you want the other thing down here is the percentage. If you'd rather look at the prices as percentage daily. Okay, so daily we're down 1.2% right now on Bitcoin. You know, you can look at the price or the percentage. Alrighty guys, but if there is anything else you want to know about TradingView, leave it in a comment below. If there's any charts that you would like to see, definitely leave the ticker symbol down below as well. And I will definitely try and get to those. The Discord community, which is rapidly growing, the link to that will be down below. So make sure you check that out as well. And guys, until next time, remember, do not chase. We do not get FOMO. We do not panic sell. Make sure you always have a confluence of indicators or a confluence of patterns that justify or validate rather the reason why you would want to exit or enter any position in the market. There is no once in a lifetime. People said it was once in a lifetime when uh, Marathon bumped in 2018. They said it was once in a lifetime what just happened with GameStop. Uh, it was once in a lifetime what happened with Bitcoin and, and once in a lifetime what happened with Longfin in 2017. So if any of that teaches you anything, uh, there's a multitude of once in a lifetime opportunities. So uh, that's why we don't get FOMO and we don't worry about watch watching something skyrocket. We just make sure we charted it and we know where it's going to go. So I will catch you guys on the next video.